Hey, Derek, you got me over. Hey, man, bump the ladder, you go. Over. Preseason has gone well, um, other than some injuries that we're dealing with and trying to get back to full health. Um, you know, the preseason has gone well. The guys have worked hard in the weight room, on the field, conditioning, everything we need to do to prepare for our, our upcoming opponent on Saturday in Seton Hill and obviously a, a challenging any 10 schedule. I think the preseason is, is critical um, to developing what we need uh, for the long season. I would say we've had three really good scrimmages. We've been challenged by some good opponents. We've learned a lot in those scrimmages. Um, and the month leading up to that first one was really good for us to adjust what we're doing, uh, put in rides, clears, 6v6 offense, man up, man down. We focused on uh, certain things that we feel we need to be successful at uh, to win games. Yeah, I think we gained a lot of valuable experience last year uh, in those tight games against Pace. We had two really tight ones with them, one in overtime uh, in the NE10 quarterfinals. We had a really tight game against Adelphi here, double overtime. Um, and I think that one was, uh, the Adelphi game was the one we learned the most from. We watched a lot of that film, that overtime on what we need to adjust and how we need to be better in those high intensity, high pressure situations. And it showed in our Bentley win in double overtime and our assumption win in, in overtime. I think we just need to learn from our experiences last year. We have a lot of veterans coming back who have been in those situations and they have learned what to do, what not to do and we will be better in those situations this year also. We need those veterans to really produce more than they did last year. And then the newcomers, they need to be consistent. That's their role for this year. We're not expecting any of them to come in and you know be player of the year in the any 10. We're expecting them to come in, fit into our system, be consistent, understand the role that they're in, and compete and execute to the best of their ability day in and day out. So that's something that we talk about all the time in our program is play Hawks lacrosse, play that up-tempo, fast-paced style, uh, run our systems, play as a six-man unit on the offensive side of the ball and a seven-man unit on the defensive side of the ball and really play Hawks lacrosse. So I think they learned that last year in practice and a little bit of that playing time that they got in games. We're moving in the right direction, I feel. Um, you know, we've asked our guys this preseason and this fall to step up and take it to the next level as far as Building a culture where, yes, we do the right things off the field, we work hard in the classroom, we work hard in the weight room, and we work hard at practice. But it's putting that time in on their own, hitting the wall with wall ball. We've challenged our guys there. Um, they've really stepped up and done a good job there. We've challenged our guys to shoot more, goalies to make more saves, goalies to see more shots. We've really put it on them to take it to the next level. Um, you know, we have a couple sayings that we've definitely been using this season. One is put it in the bank. Um, you know, that's something that we're using. It's kind of just a term to make guys understand that they need to make deposits every single day and work hard so that come overtime against pace, uh, we can make a, a withdrawal and, and all that time that we've put in is going to pay off. And then another part of that is Coach Barbosa working really hard with our guys in the weight room. Uh, I think we're stronger, faster. Uh, and in better shape than we've probably ever been. And that's a testament to their hard work in there and, and the program that he's put forth. They bring energy every single day in there. And that's something that is always great to hear that Coach Barbosa is coming up to me saying, they brought it this morning at 8 a.m., guys crushed it. Um, because, yeah, the lacrosse part is huge, the wall ball and shooting is huge, but we gotta be strong and we gotta be ready to go physically every time we step on the field in the any 10. I think that's been a huge part of our success over the past two years and hopefully for year three um, is having full-time strength and conditioning coaches, putting an emphasis on the weight room has allowed us to compete with those teams because again, they're big, strong, fast, and athletic, and that's where we're at now, which is great to see. One, two, three, 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 one